Hi, welcome back, Well2 family. My name is David Sirisa, and I'm going to show you guys how to do takeoffs on 90s, 45s, and flanges, and what the takeoff actually means when measuring pipe. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I got a 6 inch long radius 90 here and I'm going to explain to you guys what the actual takeoff is when we're accounting for, for our measuring here. So the takeoff of this is the section of pipe that we are going to remove in order to account for the distance this 90 is. So on this particular case, a 6 inch 90 here, it's going to be 9 inches. And how do we find this information? Well, we have several options. We have our pipe fitter blue book. We have these Chico cards and we have this piping selector. You can find that information on all of these. So our actual takeoff is going to be from the end of pipe to the center of the 90. As you can see here guys, I've drawn this 90 out onto the table. And if we measure from this end to center here, we are going to get 9 inches. And a common way to do this also is you actually get the nominal pipe size, which would be six inches on this case. And then you cut that in half and you add those two numbers together. So six inch, cut that in half. We got three, add those two together. And now we have nine inches. And that is our total takeoff from end to center of pipe. So you may have heard me say the term long radius 90. Um, a lot of you may have not known what that is. As you can see the difference here, I have a long radius 90 and a short radius 90 here. The short radius 90 has a much tighter turn and the takeoff is uh, very different than a long radius 90. On the short radius 90, you're only going to remove one nominal pipe size for your takeoff on this. So in this particular case, we have a six inch short radius 90. Our takeoff from end to center of 90 will be six inches. I have a six inch 45 here and show you guys what the takeoff of that looks like. As you can see, it's pretty much a long radius 90 cut in half. And the takeoff for this is gonna be very different than finding the takeoff for this. That information can also be found on your blue book, Chico cards and piping selector. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to find these takeoffs without having to use the books or Chico cards or if you don't have access to any of that. So we'll start off here with the long radius 90 here. So we have a six inch 90 in this particular case. So we're gonna go with our nominal pipe size. That's gonna be six. And then we're actually gonna break that down in half. Three. And then we are gonna add these two numbers together. That'll give us a nine inch takeoff for our long radius 90. And for our 45 degree elbow, we're gonna do a very similar process. So we go with our nominal pipe size, which is six inches. We break that down in half. That'll give us three inches, same as our 90. We're gonna break this down in half again, which will give us one and a half. And now we break this down one more time, in half again, and that'll be three quarter and now we take this number and this number and we add them up three plus three quarter three and three quarter inches all right guys so we have a short radius 90 as well that we showed you the 90 short radius and the only thing we have to do with that one is use our nominal pipe size and that'll be our takeoff for it. So we all have six inch fittings here. So our takeoff for this one will be six inches. All right, so this is how you find the, the takeoffs here on the Chico cards. We're going to go to page 7A, which is our standard butt weld fitting makeups here. We're going to go up to top and look for our long radius 90 degree, which has the letter D. We go to letter D and on this top header, 
Now we are going to find our pipe size, which is six inches. Run it down. And there's our nine inches for our takeoff. And you would do the same thing for 90s, flanges, and any other kind of fitting you're looking to find the takeoff here. It follows the same process. You find the letter, follow it down, and then follow your pipe size on the top header. So on the piping selector wheel here, to find your takeoffs, you just point this arrow here to whatever fitting valve or whatever takeoff you need. Right now we have it pointing at our long radius 90. And your nominal pipe size right here is on the side. You come up to six inches, number right next to it, that's your takeoff, so nine inches. All right guys, so on this pipe fitter blue book, you turn to page 95. You can see here, again, we have our long radius 90. You go right here to nominal pipe size, you go down to six. You can see on our drawing here, it says to go to A to get our takeoff. You can go all the way down till you get to A. It's also nine inches. All right, guys, and as you become more familiar with your fittings and the takeoffs, you won't really have to be looking up each and every time for trying to find your takeoffs. It'll kind of become the norm and familiar. You know, you can be able to do it right off the top of your head, you know, two inch 90. You get the pipe size, break it in half. Two plus one, that gives you three. All right, guys, so I'll show you guys how to get a takeoff of this flange here. The simplest and easiest thing, if you have access to the fitting already in front of you, you get your tape measure. You actually put it on the inside and measure all the way to the face of your flange here. This particular six inch 150 flange is three and a half inch takeoff for it. This information can also be found on Chico cards, the piping selector wheel, and your blue book as well. So there are a lot of classifications of flanges here. And this particular one is a six inch 150. You know, the more common ones, you're gonna have six inch 300, six inch 600, six inch 900. And all this information is still on your Chico cards. And you just need to be careful when you actually go down the list that you're on the right uh, rating of flange as these flanges as the rating goes up they do get thicker and the measurement does change and that can throw you off when you actually go to build your your piping piece all right so we go here to g which is our weld neck flange here and you see here we have all the g's on the bottom here showing all the different classes we're going to go with our first one which is the 150 we're going to go down to our pipe size just three and a half inches. And as you see, if we jump up to a 300, which is right below it, the takeoff there is three and seven eighths. And as the rating goes up, the flange takeoff gets larger and larger. All right, guys, so in order to know what kind of flange or what class of flange you have, you, there's actually stamping, usually on this outer edge of this flange. And you can see here, this one says six inch, 150 on it, so we know we have a class 150 flange. All right guys, so my name is David Sidisa, and today we showed you guys how to do takeoffs on 90s, flanges, and 45s. If you liked the video, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys the next time.